Hey guys, I think I have a bit of good news. Uh, right now, my Range Rover has been on for 15 minutes. I actually timed it and it is not overheating just yet. It started creeping up just a little bit um, like at the center and I, I heard the fan kick in, brought it down a little bit you know, more. And whatever I did yesterday, which I will explain what I did, um, <clears throat> it's probably helping it. But anyways, I also have electrical problems. Uh, sometimes the screen will shut off, the radio will shut off, that kind of thing. But let's see what it's doing uh, underneath the hood. So look, over here, like nothing's happening, which is kind of cool. Engine sounds good. Fan is on, blasting. Because we can radio fluid from there. Take a look, listen to the engine, and I'll explain what I did. And actually, probably for better cooling, we probably should just close the hood. I'll just leave that alone. At least I could tell the water uh, is not bubbling. Because cooling, you know, with the hood open, it's not going to circulate the cooling properly. So we're not driving it. So also it's not helping to vent things. But I want to idle it uh, as much as possible and monitor the, uh, the thermostat gauge. I'm not going to bore you with it. But obviously the video has been already going on almost two minutes. It hasn't overheated now for 17 minutes, which is already a great sign. So... Here's what I did to it, and then I'm gonna show you uh, the bottles that I've used. You guys, this is how I look in the morning. Not shaved, haven't showered, <laughs> but uh, my Range Rover just got delivered to me, and uh, and here I am, back in the Range Rover. I'm like, okay, let's figure this thing out. So, anyways, everything what I was telling you guys, that is true. So far, it has been 17 minutes, uh, and the Range Rover has not overheated, which is already great. So here's what I used. I used K-Seal, and it's basically pour and go type of liquid so that's exactly what i did i poured it in but after about three minutes of idling it started overheating so i shut it down brought it down to uh completely cool temperature again started the engine back up uh and then it started overheating in three minutes i well i didn't let it overheat it just got to a temperature slightly above uh you know the normal um so that didn't work and I actually have videos of me doing that. So these videos are coming up and I'll show you exactly what I did. And also I'm gonna pop it up on the screen here, showing you guys exactly what I used. So you could actually see exactly what's going on. Still right now it's not overheating. So let's switch back to the Range Rover. As you can see right here, it's still idling and I'm just gonna basically uh, monitor this thing with you guys. That way I don't get too distracted and then this thing's gonna overheat. And then I have a bunch of problems on my hands, which we don't want that. So anyways, with that being said, I'm gonna um, basically explain to you guys. Um, I also used a, a radiator stop leak by Bars or something, or Burns, or whatever it's called. Um, it's kind of like a, a two-part formula that you pour in there. I followed the uh, directions exactly. And then I bought two more head gasket repair things. I bought a $40 thing and I bought a, you know, the 20 or $30 thing. And um, they're basically in that picture, you could see that. Um, I don't know the names to it because um, I don't have a lot of experience with using that stuff, but anyways, anytime you have like a head gasket leak, you know, it's worth a try. It's worth a try. And a lot of, a lot of these, uh, formulas here, you have to bring the vehicle up to operating temperature and shut it off and wait an hour. So I think when it was overheating last and I finally called a tow truck, uh, it sat there basically like overnight. So whatever it did with that stuff. It, um, I guess it sealed it and it allowed it to dry overnight. Um, and now it, they brought it to me and I started it up and it looks good. It looks good so far. So I'm going to uh, let it sit here probably another 15 minutes. Well, actually, who am I kidding? Let me go out there and drive. So I'm going there. to just go ahead and uh, give it a drive around my neighborhood. while monitoring the temperature. 
it's starting to creep up a little bit, but we're not going that far. So let's see. You know, either way, I'm not gonna give up. Uh, if these uh, formulas, they did not work that well, you know, I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna keep on starting it, letting it idle, uh, warm up to the operating temperature, then I'm gonna let it sit. So right now I actually gotta drive to the school, pick up my kids. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm just gonna drive it around. We'll see what, what happens, because I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm seeing it with you guys for the first time. So last time you guys were watching this thing, it was overheating pretty bad. And if you watch those videos, which I'm sure you did, slow down, vehicle will lower. Slow down, vehicle will lower. Why is it gonna lower? <laughs> I don't need it to lower. We have some electrical issues here, guys. Um, including my, my electrical seat, it's not working still. I do believe, um, I do believe, uh, because I do have a sunroof version, there is a possibility of a roof leak as well. I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube and the ones with the sunroof, they have a problem with a leaky sunroof. I know, I know, Range Rover issues, you know? It's like, would you really want uh, a Range Rover, you know? But uh, yeah, I do want it. You know, I do want this headache. Uh, I love Range Rovers, especially this white. And I'm enjoying it. Look at that doggy right there, right around. This is my, this is my friend's dog. Hey, German Shepherd. I don't want to run over you, buddy. He's always on the road. <laughs> chasing cars away you know very protective of his family <clears throat> so this is already like a good sign i've been driving now like what like two minutes normally it overheats on a third minute while driving i mean even idling three minutes usually so i don't know you know let's just keep on driving till i see this thing like overheating which won't be that long because technically in another minute or so, it should start overheating and it's not. And I'm just doing some light driving here. It's just a regular type of a neighborhood type of street, which is not regular by any means because I live in the country and you know how it is in the country. There's nothing regular about that. So now we're gonna get onto basically the highway. And the reason I call it the highway it's 55 miles an hour here i mean i still don't want to really take it up to any type of speed i mean it's accelerating quite nicely i'm barely pressing the gas it's got plenty of power it's just kind of just kind of going but uh, there is a normal place i like to take vehicles to when i'm diagnosing them which is my lake and i'm thinking at this point uh, I don't even know if it's gonna make it there. It's not like I want to sit there for an hour, let it let it cool down, you know. So I'm just gonna do some laps around the neighborhood. So so far, it's been another minute since I last uh, said it might overheat in a minute, and it hasn't overheated. And now it's been idling. I, I'd say together with the driving, 20 minutes. So far, nothing has happened. I mean, maybe those stop leaks really did help. And I think I'm not the only one that tried it. I think the previous owner tried it too, and it did not work and they just gave up. Because because uh, there is some, before I even edit, oh my gosh, that dog running it in the street again. But before I even got a chance to add like any of the liquids, I already seen where the radar is leaking towards the top. It's got some splatter there. And I'm thinking, okay, that does look like they use something. I don't know what they use, maybe radiator stop leak. You know, problem the problem with using any kind of those things, it clogs up the radiators, it really messes things up pretty badly, which will then, if the radiator is kind of like clogged up, it's not going to do its job. It's not going to cool your vehicle down anymore. So that's already bad. So guys, what I did, and I will tell you guys in this video, um, I went ahead and I ordered a brand new radiator for it, a thermostat and I ordered um what else did I order so a water pump you know because those are the things you want to basically look at and replace wow it's now been five minutes of driving that's incredible and it's not overheating so 
who knows? I might just need a radiator. Uh, you know, put that in. But I might go ahead and uh, replace the water pump as well. I mean, I don't know if it's been replaced. I really need to look up the VIN on this. But the way it's been taken care of, I think if it was replaced, I don't know if it's going to be listed. I mean, it would be nice to uh, get the previous owner's phone number and say, hey, uh, buddy, I got your problem. <laughs> Can you tell me what you did to it so far, you know? Oh yeah, I did order that plastic that goes, uh, well, the dash piece. See, look, look, look at this thing. Oh my gosh. You, you see like how horrendous this looks? Um, when it's cracked it's uh it's very ugly very ugly and the carpet does not make things look any better i mean it just hides the problem and it's a very ugly carpet so whoever did this uh, really saved money on it um but i got a brand new one so i'm definitely gonna put install it and uh you know i think that should be good come on doggy get out of the way I'm gonna get run over I'm gonna get your ass run over here Well, yeah, I did order a new uh, one of these things. That's new, uh, you know, new leather for it, so. Well, so far it's not overheating. So far it's not overheating. Um, I think I'm going to call this video an end, so it's not overheating. And I'm gonna do some more testing with it, some more, some more things, and uh, if anything meaningful that I'm gonna do, I'm going to uh, make a video on that uh please let me know if you want to see more videos on this because there's a lot that needs to be done to this thing um i don't know if this is a proper place to uh, post the videos let me know if guys if you're interested in seeing them because anything that i'm gonna do to this range rover i'm gonna be keeping it first of all so i'm gonna make you know make all these maintenance videos and stuff like that what's it costing me and things like that but but anyways guys take a look at the video description below what the Range Rover has cost me so you know so far and some of the advice when it comes to overheating um, I have all the advice in the comment section it's pretty detailed so anyways guys thank you so much for watching take care of yourself and see you in the next video bye bye guys, I drove the Range Rover some more I finished driving it like I literally took it out like on a regular type of a long trip and when I say long like just you know like a normal like road trip I think it lasted about 10 minutes still it's below the center, let me show you. The temperature gauge below the center. So now we're going to shut it off. And that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching. And see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.